Hi, I'm Tom Jones and welcome to another free art lesson. I hope you'll stay with me a while. I'm going to show you an easy way of doing barbed wire and an interesting way as well. Let me get started right now. I want to take this particular area where I have some uh, uh, fence posts. I'm going to paint the fence posts first, keep it real simple. I've got a little blue out there. I've got a little sienna and a little bit of my quinacridone rose and we'll do a little bit of a interesting fence area for you. I'll start out with some of a color. It doesn't matter what color you use really, but just start out with a little bit of fresh color. I'll put a little green in there. I just want a little variety of color going on here in this particular fence post. We'll do the same thing over here. I'll just take a little variety. I'll take a little bit of my quinacridone rose and, and uh, paint a little bit of the uh, rose color in here. And as I mentioned before, the color choice is yours. I would just simply say, if you're going to put color down, have a little variety of color in the fence post rather than just one boring color. So don't make it look like a clown painting, obviously, but just a little more interest in the painting by having a little more color change. So we'll take a little bit of my orange and a little bit of my burnt sienna and uh, we'll add those colors together and get an interesting color there and continue on down. So it's really about the barbed wire. That's what it's really about. But I thought as long as we're doing this, we'll make a, a little bit of a lesson plan on painting this particular area of, uh, let's say, a, a, a fence post. And uh, I'm always a big believer in having at least three colors in each object that you paint. It just makes it more interesting. Back to a little bit of the rose color again and we'll add a little of that in to warm it up and then back to maybe, oh, a little bit of green to make it more interesting. Now you notice I have a light side on these and what I'll do is I'll normally would have a dark up next to it so you see the white area but in this case I think what I'll do is I'll just come in and paint that as a light area. Let me clean my brush out thoroughly. Come back over with the with the brush and just put a little color at the edge of the fence post to give you a, a little dimension, a little dimension on the fence post. And then come down and do the same thing over on, let's say, this side of the fence post. And that's, again, the fence post was not the lesson plan, but it's part of the overall package. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, in this case, my uh, si uh, signature brush or my my script brush and I'm going to do the barbed wire. Watch what I do. I'm going to come over and pick up some of my dark color and I'm going to use my script brush which has a very fine point and I'm going to make a little jagged area of barbed wire and this again is make it interesting. Make your barbed wire interesting. Don't have the perfect barbed wire. This is just an old interesting old barbed wire fence. Same thing here. We'll just do a little bit of a a little fine line for some barbed wire here. Coming across like so. Coming around and we'll do the third one over here. Again, keep it nice and thin. Like so. Now what I'll do is I'll come over and have this wrap around the fence post over here and have the barbed wire kind of dragged down on the ground. It's sort of broken. This is an old abandoned fence that what at one time kept the cows in and now it doesn't anymore. It's just not in use. So we'll have a little bit more of that barbed wire coming down, trailing away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that dark and watch what I do. I'm going to put some barbs on it, just a few barbs here and there to give the illusion that it is a barbed wire fence. Let me get a little more color out there and we'll go from there. Too much red, go back, get a little blue, get a little burnt sienna. Come back in, start putting some more barbs on. Just a few here and there. Gives you the illusion that there's an interesting old broken down barbed wire fence. And then we'll add a, have a little added touch to it at the bottom and show you what we can do with that. Again, just a few areas of barbed wire. this, just a few, and it looks just like an old barbed wire fence and that's the look you were looking for. Now what I'll do for a little extra benefit for you is I'll come down and we'll pick up a little bit of color at the bottom here and put in a look of uh, maybe some grass area on this particular fence line like so. Just to anchor the fence, that's all it's about. It's not part of the lesson plan. 
but it helps tie together the entire area. And that's basically all you need there. And that's how you can paint a very simple but very interesting barbed wire fence. I hope you enjoyed this particular lesson plan and I hope you'll join me again for another free art lesson. I'm Tom Jones. Thank you.